Oh. Hello? Hello? Oh. Couldn't hear me, could you? Oh, I was just saying that. Thank you for the sub. And... Um, I figured I might as well get up since this is the most sleep I've had all week. I'm just trying to relearn how to install, reinstall my Intuos. Kinda hoping that I don't need to restart my computer because I just started streaming. How are you this morning, Lena? to install drivers old-fashioned way with a CD. That's how old this tablet is. There we go. 
This should be a nice compromise there. I don't know why I didn't think to do this to begin with. Good morning, Paraquid. Long time no see. How have you been? I'm glad to hear it. It's been a while. This thing, let me check my... There you go. The hands are working properly. I'm going to switch to this for now while we go ahead and install this. I think we should do some really simple art for today. Kind of want to ooh, relax a bit. Why is my voice so loud? So low. What about now? That works. <laughs> Pin tablets were successfully installed. Be right back. Interesting. Hell yeah. Good morning, Sonu. How are you doing this morning?
You're about to sleep in like half an hour? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. This is not mine though. I'm actually borrowed I actually borrowed this from a different VTuber named Lorelei. Yeah, a uh, funny story about the font. The font was actually created by a friend named Kilo several years ago. It was originally meant to be used for a science fiction novel, or my science fiction novel that I was writing at the time. Um, even though I finished the novel, I never got to publishing it, so the font went unused, but every now and then I like to bring it back. It's kind of like how Star Wars has its own fancy font. This is the fancy font for the Fade Out universe, which is my series of science fiction novels. So, it takes a little bit of getting used to, uh, to read, but, for example, this is what it looks like. Haha, <laughs> yes, indeed. So you see A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, M, M, B. Like this says the quick brown fox. Windows Vista pen experience. Ah! Thank you for throwing something in my face. I needed that to wake up. <laughs> Office 2007. You know how old this uh, tablet is now. See what else we got in the CD. We need to install the uh, R programs separately now. I wonder if the old software is still available. First you throw shit at me and then you demand get better habits. I would not expect anything less from a fellow Southeast Asian. Uh, I was afraid that was going to happen. The resource you're looking for has been removed, had its name changed, or was temporarily unavailable. This thing is so old, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Sadly. You redeemed posture check? I didn't notice. Let me go ahead and fix my posture though. Thank you. Ah! No! No, it's dark. I'm scared. No! Uh. Thank you. It should have now. I had to look back though. Thank you for redeeming the posture check, so no, My back's actually been killing me a little bit this morning. I'm not entirely sure why, to be honest.
All right. The two of us were able to continuously torture the Lawler. I like being tortured by the both of you. <laughs> Especially any two, except the way I need, why, way I sit when I'm doing these things, because I feel like I bend over too much to zoom in. Actually, um, I'm kind of concerned that my mic is getting too far away from my face to hear, but. According to OBS, it says here this is just fine. Let me increase the volume a little bit. Testing, testing, one, two, three, now. Testing, one, two, three, now. Okay, that works. Should probably put on some soft music in the background. But first, what I need to do actually is to install some new software because obviously, um, I can't install the free bundle stuff anymore with my that came with my tablet way back when. Thankfully, Krita is free. So is Pain Tool Sci. First thing we're gonna do though is installing Krita. I use Krita a lot for uh, art or for uh, painting applications, which you know makes sense. That's what it's created for. I also need to find my copy of Paint Tool Sci. It's probably in my old hard drive. Probably in the download section, I hope. Actually, I was planning on doing that as a joke. Because I saw it either on Tumblr or on Imager or somewhere. Basically, um... Basically, uh, some people brought up paint and started following along with Bob Ross, and they managed to draw something anyway. So, I thought it'd be a cool idea. I much prefer traditional art by far, but I don't mind using... I'm getting used to using a pen tablet. That is true. That actually is a main um, reason why, or main uh, point in favor of digital art. I notice actually even a lot of uh, digital art um, speed draws that I see utilize that a lot, where sometimes they would just take out an entire section that they drew and draw it somewhere else, more or less. Who scratched up my baby? My poor tablet. Hmm. Here it is. My copy of Psy. Gonna go ahead and reinstall that really quick. Mm, that was pretty quick and painless. Not Saiga 12. Where's Sai? Hmm. That's weird. I know I just installed it. But where did I install it? 
Oh, there it is. Such a janky program. Pain 3D, amazing artworks win. I don't know. That's a good question. I think that's installed on this computer too, actually. This thing, right? Pain 3D? I wonder what it is. Eh, what happened? Doesn't seem very different from any other art program, more or less. Seem it does feel very janky though. Kind of laggy too for some reason. I wonder why it's lagging so much actually. There's like a. Four or five millisecond delay. We're trying to. Oh. How do I open, how do I you put in my license again? It's been a while since I've done this. Been a while since I've
Oh my god. Hey, Ban. Thank you so much for the raid. Application Vimboy, this was your doing, wasn't it? <laughs> welcome to welcome, welcome to the stream, everyone. You came just in time. I'm just trying to reinstall Paint Tool Sci. And the reason I have to reinstall it is because I recently reinstalled Windows, which yeeted all of my programs. Uh, failing that, I was planning on just putting on some Bob Ross and following along in Paint, as opposed to trying to do this in uh, Paint Tool Sci, which is not a painting program to begin with anyway. Also, it's installing a copy of Preta. So I know that in order to install Psy, I need to go find where I put the prober. Oh, I'm dumb. I know where it is. I don't need to search for it. It should be in the same place as go here. Uh oh, where did I install it? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Just give me a moment here and we'll. I think I know how to fix this. Maybe. I seem to be having trouble just finding, there it is, paint tool sigh. Ah, here it is, the uh, license file. So I just need to toss that in here really quick. And then it should work just fine. And just like that. I now have I'm going to make this the biggest possible uh, size that can be fit on my screen, which is this one. Zoom in a bit there. Okay. Is there a way to make this dark? It's kind of blindingly white. Or we could try using Paint 3D. Paint 3D feels like a ripped version of Corel Pro. It doesn't automatically detect when I get my eraser out though, which is a bummer. Woo choo 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 choo. Fresh off the train, huh? <laughs> That's a very unique raid message. Thank you so much for the raid, everyone. Much appreciated. So, how are you all this morning? It's actually 8.50 here in the States right now. Just to let you get to give you an idea. Oh, this thing's automatically mapped to the drag tool as opposed to the eraser tool. Or, ooh, it does detect uh, which side I'm using. So I can just flip, erase, and go like that. Cool. So that still works. I got Psy back. Now let's go ahead and see where I installed Krita. Gonna reinstall this too. <laughs> Indeed. Let's go ahead and get the Joy Painting running here. Gonna run that in the top right. In the top of that. My god! We're getting raided twice now? Captain Kite. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. I'm guessing you're friends with uh, Bound31, right? Thank you, and I'm guessing Application Vimboy as well. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. 
sorry I don't have any music playing right now. It's mainly because I was playing on putting on Bob Ross, so there's not really a need to. We're gonna listen to his uh, voice. Double rated. It's been a while since I got been double rated. The last time I was, it was by Eerie and her friend uh, Narwar. Oh my God! Thank you so much for the follow, Captain Kites. Mm, ow! Much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is already turning out a lot better than last night, that's for damn sure. Uh, uh, thank you so much, I really appreciate that, or Femboy, really. It's, uh, you know what, I forgot to announce on Twitter that I'm even streaming right now. I'm starting to slide backwards into my old habits. I'll ever load dead really quick. <laughs> I should have made a uh, af. I should have made a model that had an afro on to really get into character. to do have a good night Sonu thank you for stopping by always appreciate it <laughs> thank you it's I can't it's hard to do a heart emoji with my hands in VC face than it is on VR chat oh do me a favor, Sonu. Let Danger you know that uh, I have not forgotten them. I'll see them sometime this year, I'm sure. Ah! Thank you for the follow, Radish Top. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Ah! Ah, have you redeemed the hydrate? Thank you. Let me get some water here. My mouth is starting to dry up again. <laughs> Ah, much, but yeah, thank you so much for the double raid, much appreciated, and as promised, I did say that we're pretty much going to follow along with Bob Ross today. Hi, I'm glad you could join me today. Is that too loud? Going to do a wonderful little no, uh, I think you're going to, I think you're going to. You know, maybe I should play some music in the background. I don't want anyone to think that I'm just straight up streaming Bob Ross for n with abs doing absolutely nothing to show for it. That would be cruel and unusual, you know? And it's not like... Let's see if I can get Krita running here real quick. Ah, there you are. Do -do -do. Uh, art. Traditional art and art. Digital art as well. I remove traditional art. Add digital art. And mode created. There you go. Much better. Don't ban the stationery. <laughs> you redeem ban eraser. Oh man, <laughs> that's going to be wild. Banning eraser. All right. For how long will you ban the eraser? And the timer will only start when I actually start drawing. Otherwise, that'd be kind of, you know, defeat the point. Mm, you decide. Probably not longer than 
probably not the entire stream though. Ten minutes works. Uh, you can enable news in the menu above. Digital tools. Why is? Oh, it's stretching across my whole screen. That's why. It shouldn't be doing that. Rita, you drunk. Go home, you drunk. Ah, there we go. We managed to fix it. Oh, shit. It's so big, it's stretching against against all four of my monitors right now. <laughs> Did they do that on purpose? That's not... That's not right. <laughs> Maybe I should not, like, put Bob Ross on the same monitor, I guess. We're gonna put him over here instead on my right monitor, so that every time I look at Bob Ross, I'll look at chat at the same time. File new. Nineteen twenty by ah, thank you for the out out. Thank you for the rubber duckies and the banana, lewd, and the dog bow. Out, rude. Out, out. What is with you with bananas lately? Oh God. <laughs> Ow. Create. Not saved. Ah. The banana, the banana flap. What other noise did you expect it to make? A moan? <laughs> All right. I think we're set. I just need to remember what all these buttons do. Let's see here. <laughs> Starting now. Uh, at 9.10 my time, I'll stop you, I'll be able to use the eraser. So, starting right now, cannot use eraser. Okay, which one of these is an actual uh, paintbrush? Is it this one? Is it this one? This one, say, or... Actually, it probably is that one, isn't it? It's definitely these over here. Untag digital erasers, effects, ink, paint. Here we go. The paint program. The paint ones. Okay. So, these are watercolors, then. And this one is a scratch. And this one's a... There we go. Okay. I'm going to enjoy this one, so i tell you what, let's don't waste any time. Let's have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with so me. So we're going to be using titanium yeah, white, all 18 by 20 a of canvas green, up here. It's all covered with a nice bendy a color of blue. liquid white. It's wet, slick, it's and ready to go. So let's just do what I thought today. Let's do maybe a little traditional painting traditional with some mountains painting. And, and pretty sky and maybe some water and who knows. Finger just, painting just could work too. Have a good time. I won't I'm, not I'm surprised day. no one's you tried finger painting. Smallest little amount I'm surprised no one's tried finger painting on stream yet. Color. Or if they have, I just didn't realize. I just didn't notice. I know people do body sky. painting all the time to try and get past the, uh, you know, lewd filters and stuff. There. I'm in a bright, happy so mood today. Bright, day happy mood today. Alive. So let's do a painting that reflects that. Shoot, every day's a good day to be alive. I agree, Bob. There we are. I There's agree. A little bit of it down here. What if we're gonna have water? We just put a little in there. What the heck? Okay, without even cleaning the brush, I'm gonna go right into a touch of alizarin crimson and just just tap just a little a bit touch into the of alizarin like crimson, so. like so. We'll go right up above this, and I'm just gonna lay in a little bit of crimson, just wherever. Sort of let them flow together. 
little bit more orangey than crimsony, but there we are. Just blend those edges out very nice. Just put a little warm spot up here in the sky. Okay, we'll take a little crimson, and we'll throw a little of that down here, too. What the heck? Mm. What the heck? We don't care. That's good enough. That's okay. good enough, he says. Just have a good time. That's really what painting's all about. It just Let's just have a yourself. good time. Okay, a little phthalo blue. Little phthalo and I still blue. have the same old dirty brush. Let's same go right on back brush. up in here. Using a little crisscross strokes. And I've started out here and working downward, so it'll mix with the liquid white and automatically it'll get lighter and lighter in value. There. I guess I should have mixed it in with a little bit of liquid white like so he's doing, but we can replicate that by just doing this. this. It'll eat it up if you're not careful. Maybe a little bit right in here. Now when you do I can just painting, adjust on you the don't fly. Want all these colors in the sky, just leave them out. You can make any oh, color in the sky. Where'd it go? Just want to show you how to make a beautiful Where'd my painting. Where'd it go? Some phthalo blue and a touch. Just Did a I touch just lose all my work? Green. Oh my god, I'm gonna be sad if that green. just happened. <laughs> I don't know how that would happen though. Oh, there it is. What happened just now? Is it because. Hmm. Size, opacity. I wonder why everything just vanished. Full screen mode. Hmm. I hid the layer. Wonder which one I did to do that. Oh, it's over here. That's why. It's been a while. <laughs> and ignore this black stuff here. We're going to erase that later. But Fem snatched it. Give it back, Fem. How much do you want from my art? <laughs> and let it, we should definitely play some music in the background too how about some lo-fi hip-hop <laughs> you're off my your offer is two hugs how about i give you three hugs Very well. I guess you are my little pog champ. Come here. Where's my other arm? There it is. Mm. Squish. <laughs> yes, you got pog champed as well. I'm going to slightly reduce the volume on this. Just have it play there in the background. To fill up the space, the between space. All right, let's continue. Let's put some. Let's put some water down here. I'm gonna put there. some water down here. Pull from the outside in. Outside in. A little bit on the other side. There we go. Let's let all these colors just sort of blend together. Don't want to kill all that bright spot right there. It'll go away and leave you. There. Okay, and now we can wash our brush. We put all this color on there, and this is the first time we washed our brush. Use odorless thinner, shake off the excess, beat the devil out of it, <laughs> and there we go. This now, does seem like the sort of thing that he would listen to, doesn't it? Brush is good, clean, and dry. Start in the light area. Let's go a little bit and more right area and blend outward. Always blending outward. Try not to bring that blue color back into that yellow or you'll have a bright green sky. Unless that's what you want. Okay, now that just knock that excess paint off my brush. And continue to blend. Let it blend. But will it blend, actually? <laughs> But will it blend? Okay. One more time. Now you can blend this till it's very soft and very delicate. You can't tell where one color stops and the next color starts. 
Sometimes when you're painting at home, step back from your painting and take a look, see? It's hard to see when you're very close. Step back and, and look at it and you'll see a whole new perspective. Things you'll see a whole new perspective. There. Oh, that's a little too harsh. Let's use something lighter right. like this. Down here. There we go. We're just very lightly. Just go across. It's mixing with a liquid white. I know there's an actual blending tool oh, somewhere blend here in the app, that. but I don't know which one it is at the moment. Oh, that's pretty. Already that's pretty. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Or oh, wait, no. I'm dumb. I think I just found it. I found a blending tool. Clean the whole brush one more time. Shake it up. Cover all the camera people. And off we go. Let's put us a this must be the blending tool. For that. Well, we're going to use, we're going to use some Midnight Black, some Van Dyke Brown, others are in Crimson, a little Martian Blue. Good dark color. Mix it up. I love it too. Flat, cut off a little roll of paint. These are really chill. I like the definition of chill. Now then, you got to make your first big major decision. Where is your mountain man in the world? My favorite story about him is the fact that he used to be a drill sergeant at one point, which is the exact opposite of chillness. And after he got out of the army, he decided he doesn't want to do that anymore. Was it the army or the marines? One of those things. You can just only think about like how torn up he must have been inside, uh, having to like beat the shit out of people and had to tear people down for a living. You didn't hear that story? Yeah. He used to be in the military for a while. And... I don't think he ever went to war or anything because otherwise he had a PTSD. But he used to be in the military and he used to be a drill sergeant. And when he got out, he is quoted as saying that he never wanted to do that job again. He didn't want to like yell at people again. Naturally, he became a painter. And that's why, and that's in part why his uh, personality that you see here is like the complete radical opposite. I'm doing great, hero, our hero. I'm doing very great. Thank you for asking. We got rated twice this morning, which is awesome. And um, I just reinstalled some of my favorite art programs and doing put on a little Bob Ross in the background, along with some lo-fi hip hop. It is wild, isn't it? Along with Mr. Rogers, Bob Ross is one of those people that just comes in once every like thousand years or some shit. Like. He's truly one of a kind, you know? Or was one of, was was one of a kind, I should say. Let me just clean this up a little bit here. Ah! Can I make my there we go. Layer is locked. Why is my layer locked again? Oh wait, here we go. All right, now let's go ahead and continue. And your mountain lives right there. Well, it sure does now. Firmly push that right into the fabric. Just really I'm going to reverse a little bit to catch up. Others are in crimson, a little Prussian blue. Looks like time is up. Color. I can once again Fix use the up. eraser, well, but you don't really use erasing when you're painting, so right. I'm gonna try avoiding now that. You gotta make your first big major decision. Where does your mountain live in your world? Where does the mountain live in my world, chat? Right here. Your mountain lives right there. Oh. It sure does now. Wait. Firmly. Yeah, it's not making black color. It's instead carving up the thing. Hmm. Is there a... I don't think you could use um, the scalpel, the uh, paint knife tool to it in Krita the same way that Bob Ross does it. In Krita, you can only use it to blend stuff, but Bob Ross uses it to carve out literal shapes. Like, right here, basically. <laughs> That's right, he makes happy little accidents. Which, you know, I think is a approach to art that 
is very important because I have, feel like most people have a tendency to be perfectionist when they're drawing or painting. I know I was when I was in school. And especially with writing, when you're so caught up with making things perfect, you feel like you have to constantly destroy and recreate what you're working on. And if you do that, you never finish anything. Art is art. Mr. Rogers for Young Development, Bob Ross for Artistic Development, and Steve Irwin for Natural Awareness. They're the wholesome trinity. In the name of the, in the name of the Roger, the Ross, and the Holy Irwin. Blessings be upon you. <laughs> Amen. I never thought of it that way. can't think of many people today that would count that would basically be the new the new um, trinity I do remember one of the first I'm not really I didn't really get into twitch that much until I became a vtuber but back when I made my first twitch account I remember the day that they first started allowing non-video game streams on the chant on the platform and one of the first streams I watched was this uh, girl who was cosplaying as Bob Ross uh, following along with Bob Ross, <laughs> which I thought was really funny at the time. Your first Twitch account was a shit account? Oh, Justin TV? I remember Justin TV. <laughs> Up, pull it out very flat, cut off our little roll of paint. Right there. Now then, you gotta make your first big major decision. Where's your mountain live in your world? Where is the mountain live in our maybe, world, chat? Maybe your mountain lives right there. But it sure does now. Firmly push that right into the fabric. Just really push. Like so. Need a lot of pressure. Maybe it goes on off over here somewhere. Whatever. Trying to replicate paint. what Bob is doing with the wrong tool is an exercise in pain. Brush and we grab that. Once again, if the canvas is wet, we can move color. The canvas is wet, we can absolutely move. move color. Now, if you're on a dry canvas and you try to pull this paint, you're going to be in Agony City. You try to pull this. One of the reasons that I stress so much that we use a pre-stretched double prime canvas. If you use a canvas board or canvas paper. It will absorb your liquid white, and you'll you'll be left with a dry surface. And we depend on Actually, this being wet through the you entire know what? I can just use this. Can. There we go. Now then. Uh, that's not some, what I want. Let's put some snow on that mountain. We take some white. We could probably we'll fix the least little touch of alizarin crimson. Put in there just to warm it up. The least least little amount. I don't think that's the correct tool for this pocket. job. Pull it out very flat. Get strong with it. Very flat. Go straight so, down. Cut off our little roll of paint. I wonder if I can just do this a little bit. Trying to blend out, trying to You know, that doesn't look that bad. I think I just went a little too heavy in the darkness and I would there's got I it's hard to sometimes you can't completely replicate traditional art for the fact that this is not uh this is not oil that we're working with oh you think it looks nice still well i appreciate that <laughs> lol boomer oh you want to if you want to see here some real boomer shit i used to have i used to the first time i ever streamed in my life was on the website that was titrally called live stream <laughs> and i live streamed uh, D that's um, back when we used live stream we used it to live stream D, D sessions which by the way were run through IRCs at the time if way before discord was even a thing now that's some boomer shit right there <laughs> uh, which one of these things is the is it this one yeah, here we go Uh, this works at least for blending it out that's a little bit darker than i would have preferred but oh. 
he's keeping the heads of the mountains, the, uh, This part up here has a very defined lines. I'm glad it is, Captain Kite. We do strive to make people happy on this channel, even if that's not always possible. Ventrilo, I remember Ventrilo. What about TeamSpeak? You ever have a TeamSpeak? I remember the days of people used, that used to just go, get on vent, get on vent, get on vent, and all that. My goodness, this is actually starting to look like some, some mountains, after all. Who'd have thought? And Pigeon. Yeah, Pigeon is some old, old school shit. So that does that. What about this? What's this do? Uh, MSN Messenger, a AIM, America Online. There is a bunch of them. I used to have this program that mixed all the messengers uh, together at once so you can just log in there and then log into all of your message accounts at the same time including facebook was one of them all right continue bob ross you have to make some big decisions in my world i think the light's going to be coming from the right and you're going to find if you're right-handed it's normally easier for the light from the right. If you're left-handed, it will vary from person to person. Let's I have a brother who's left-handed, and I know that ten people their entire life are forced to do right-handed things. So some left-handed people will find it easier to highlight on the left and some on the right. But most right-handed people, 99 out of 100, will find it easier to highlight on the right. Try it a little bit. See what works for you. person who is left-handed it's super nice if you have a big mirror if you have a mirror you can do it and it looks correct then to a left-handed person there we go take a little blue a little white let's just stay a little blue and white there pull it out flat once again our little roll of paint just like so now then let's just put an indication of the shadow now let's push this one back Watch right here. Come right down through here and distinctly come through there. Big a little bit and of push that little move. thing right on back into the background. That easy. You have the power to move mountains. You have the power to move mountains, he says. There we go. Put in a few little shadows here and there. Uh, I'm right handed, but sometimes I try to fuck around with my left hand, see what I can get away with. Be nice Here's to be ambidextrous. Right in there. Maybe anywhere you want a little indentation in the mountain, put a shadow. That's all it takes. Just put a Watch shadow. That's all it takes. Clean, dry brush. I want to create the illusion. But I am right handed. More or less.
wonder what this one does. That's more like a... Is it this one? Oh! This is the texture I should have been using for the mountains. The really rough texture. Or this one. Yeah. Or this one, actually. This one works too. Bob Ross seems like the kind of guy to give you a hug, whisper something incredibly sinister into your ear, and then turn it around by showing you a painting of it in a positive light to make you feel safe. I'd love to be ambidextrous. I've got my tablet set up so I can keep my right hand on the keyboard when using it. It gets awkward. If it wasn't midnight, I would join in too. I have a Wacom tablet in front of me, but I can't draw nor paint at all. I only use it for sculpting and texture painting. That's kind of cool. I mean... You could just open up paints. I can't find the meme now because it's been literally years since I read it, but people have recreated Bob Ross's art on accident in, a, in literally the paint program. <laughs> you got Krita? Okay. Feel free to. If you like, I can finish up this art and then recreate a new, create a new canvas and just put Bob Ross's um, YouTube over here in the corner. Oh. <laughs> Well, don't keep yourself up. I don't know if you got something. Are you upside down? Shh. All the blood rushing to your head. Is it over there? Is it in this? Are you all over in Australia? Oh, because of me. I understand now, I think. Kind of, sort of, nada. <laughs> uh, Whoa, stop, wait, no, here we go. Half past 8 a.m.? <laughs> well, I'm glad you could... Glad you could join us anyway, hero. Much appreciated. You're a paid actor? Do you know state secrets? Imagine being paid to act. Couldn't be me. the canvas. Now, Caress it. <laughs> sometimes it's fun to come back and change your mouth. Here we go. Watch in here. See, maybe you want to bring this back. Put a little doer in there. Let's see, what does this button do again? Thing that you want to do. Oh, this is the paint knife that he uses. I was wondering about that. I was wondering which one of these uh, tools he was using to do that. That could have gone better. Oops. 
<laughs> you, you are the state secrets. <laughs> are you doing it? What does this button do again? Famous last words. Yeah, no kidding, right? I'm trying really hard to not to to not uh, use the undo button because the undo the feeling of wanting to redo everything is really strong right now. That would be kind of against his uh, against his, how Bob Ross works, though. So I'm doing my best to avoid. In void instinct, I guess. Like, even right now, I think that I kind of fucked up the, uh... Mountain a little bit, trying to copy Bob Ross. It lo I feel like it looks better before. <laughs> Try control Z real life. Now that is a mood if I ever heard one. In spite of that, I must admit that as far as mountains go, this is not too bad. I've certainly have done worse art, so. <laughs> oh, do tell. Drop them in your room. It's whatever you want them to be, he says. Just sort of make a decision in your mind and drop it in. Practicing things in your mind and then putting them on canvas. There. Now then, our little shadow back here. Maybe here and there, a little shadow. Shoot. You've got one fantastic mountain. Oh, it's a state <laughs> secret. Always following the angles that you have in your mouth. There we go. All right, which one of these things is the blunt tool again? I keep forgetting. Is it this one? And all that together. It's this one. Time to have some fun. Let's make us up a mixture of dark color here. We'll use some black. You hear that, chat? It's time to have some fun, Bob Ross says. If we're not having fun now, I can't imagine what his definition of what he is implying by having fun now in the next few seconds once I catch up. Hey Kamoyu, thank you so much for the follow. Mm. You ready for some uh, MSTing next week? So I sure am. Assuming I'm able to make it, of course. We're just here today, uh, following along with Bob Ross as we draw some, make some art. Right now, I'm just doing a little bit of blending before I go into the next part of his uh, tutorial. Are we, are we watching Plan 9 next week? Awesome. I mean, look, the last movie we saw was pretty good, despite being pretty shit. I can't imagine Plan 9 is bad. Thank you for the eating. Finally caught me streaming, huh? Thank you for the food, Vimboy. Nom 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 nom. where this is going so far it's really jank and i love it
What's up, application man boy? Oh, it's time for LOL's time. Um, you picked me as the hero. <laughs> Aww. Really? Thanks. <laughs> Much appreciate. Notice. It feels good to be noticed sometimes, you know? Squish. Squish, squish. You know what? All that uh, black stuff that I put over here earlier that I couldn't erase has just sort of vanished into the painting, hasn't it? All right, let's continue. Prussian blue. Shoot, I'll throw some Play-Doh green in there too. It doesn't matter. A little doesn't bit of crimson, a little brown. What have you got? You're just looking mainly for a good dark color. It should look black. Let me clean the knife. Should look black, he says. Hmm. Okay. And we'll take an old fan brush. Wait. That's loaded. Why did this get really small all of a sudden? Emojis, by the way. Color. A lot of paint, both sides full. Okay. And maybe back in here in our world, there lives a now lot of little mist of trees. And all you're doing is tapping. We're going to add a little mist of trees just by tapping. Once I figure out which one of these uh, paint brushes is the best one for it. Mm hmm. one of these would it be? Would it be this one? It's probably this one, but the problem is I can't turn the brush like horizontal, or turn the brush sideways, or can I? Maybe I can, and I just haven't figured out what that option is. Well, whatever option it is, it's definitely not that one. Probably not this one either. There's only so much you can replicate sometimes, you know? Also, let's go ahead and save our work before we have an accident. Bob won. <laughs> A happy accent. Very true. Very true. Hmm. I wonder. Why is VT plus here if I catch it? There we go. All right. Dare you whip and nay nay? If you, you can whip if you want to. If you leave your friends behind. <laughs> Let's continue. Things down over the fan brush. Just tap it down. Which one of these things is a fan brush? Do I even have a fan brush tool here? Probably not. There's only so much you can replicate sometimes. So instead, we're going to find a way to do this without the fan brush. Um, Hmm. 
<laughs> a brush that loves and adores me. Never heard of those before. Nope. Totally. Oh, Captain, you're you're also drawing along. You're also painting along. Great to hear. The more, the merrier. I'm paused right now so I can figure out which one of these I should be using. Is it this one? Oh, that's too. Just a little bit darker. Painting is stretched more like flailing like a fish out of water. I'm sure even a fish out of water can make great art, if it put its mind to it. Shouldn't discount everyone, you know? Ah! Why is it so dark? Oh my god. I want to get progressively smaller. When when this is done, that will help lead the eye around the corner. Around the corner down the street. We don't know where it goes. But wherever it goes. It's a happy little place back here. I'm making a happy little forest down here or attempting to. Okay. Maybe. maybe. But I have to maybe improvise. In our world. Maybe one or two of these trees is Out a little stronger, you see a little more detail. A lot of paint, though. There's one. You just sort of work him back and forth. And you just put as many or as few as you want. Now, as many or as few as you want. You're painting along in spirit, doing texture painting in Blender at the moment. The chill vibes are keeping you focused. Well, I'm glad I could help, Hero. <laughs> Exoptil's art, let's go. Exolotl. There's been more than a couple of disforestation for less trees to paint. Uh, I don't mind having a lot of trees. see here how did he draw the tree leaves he did some funky stuff he did not that one seem to be a little bit darker than that is it this one Right in here, let's have some reflections. Because this is... He did... A little bit of definition here, or trying to make definition. Which is hard with my tool set. Look in the shithouse, you love it. <laughs> I'm sure it looks fine. Believe a little bit in yourself. Mine looks like a mess, though. <laughs> 
Hey, Winter. How are you this morning? How'd you know I was doing Bob Ross? <laughs> uh, excuse me, I need to go blow my nose really quick. Allergy season. You can tell from the trees, even though know, they're not like there yet. I'm back. Let me just reset really quick. Where are my glasses? Oh, there they are. <laughs> See you, Captain. Thanks for stopping by. Much love. See ya. <laughs> and thanks for joining the Discord as well. Much appreciated. And thank you. You as well. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, work a little bit more on the trees, and then we'll get on to the next part. The birds and the bees and the trees. Yeah. That's true, Winter. She, Bob Ross really likes but giving tree, trees to a definition to his trees. Or at least, like, you know, these little things here. I'm having a difficult time because I don't have the same tools as him, but not so bad, honestly. That's true, he really likes trees for whatever reason. Can I just say, I love how universal Bob Ross is. It seems like everyone knows him and for all the right reasons. It's wet, the paint will move. Used to mm. as traditional painter, reflections were hard to do. I turned the canvas upside down and paint the scene over, but watch right here. Because this is wet, all you have to do is grab it and pull it straight down. Straight that's actually down. a really like so. See there? That's a really clever way to make reflections actually. All he's doing is taking the ink that's already there and just gently pulling it downwards. Which I will now attempt to replicate 
using my scuff skills here. It's probably this one, right? Ah! Nope, I'm not allowed to reverse. Or am I? No, I'm not allowed to reverse. I need to fix that. Or integrate it somehow. That looks scary. What's this do? I wish I knew what these symbols meant. Oh. You know, this works. That works, I guess. I'm not sure if this is exactly what he meant, but... I mean, I'm pulling them down, right? Only problem is it's completely blurring them, as opposed to just um, pulling them. So it's kind of a little bit awkward. I feel like one of these things should be... Bob is probably one... Ah, uh, you can do it. Thank you. Bob is probably one of the most uncontroversial uncon uncontroversial people in history. Even Mr. Rogers got political on occasion. Not in a bad way, but Bob, he was just built different. That's true. There we go. I need to remember this. This is the blending tool right here. This one right here. Here too, actually. They're yours, and you can do anything, anything. Take a little liquid white. To that, I'm going to add the least little touch of blue. Tiniest little bit of halo blue, not much. Not, can't hardly even tell there's any blue in there. Let's just pull a little. Do that again. Pull a little color like that on the knife. Then push firmly. I'm really pushing very firmly here. Push firmly. Now I can properly use this thing. Just use... Push firmly, he says. Firmly. Uh... Firmly. Firmly push. Please don't hit the stylus anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going to hit the stylus. <laughs> I've had this thing for years. I would hate for it to die now. During a Bob Ross stream, no less. trees in this one it looks like we'll put a happy little evergreen right there happy little evergreens there hmm. how am i going to replicate this now uh, is it this one Thank you. 
Hey, Steel. Oh, you think this looks great? Thanks. <laughs> How are you this morning? have a really jank tree <laughs> oh my god oh that's definition that's way too ah, that's a little too strong should definitely use more a less uh, defined shape there oh okay well we don't need to talk about it then you think so? Thanks a lot, Winter. Appreciate that. Sometimes I'm afraid I'm overdoing the tree. Son of a gun just lived right in that brush. You gotta... That son of a gun just lives right in that brush. Well, I'm trying to get him out of the brush. You know what? It might have been... I might have been... Maybe I was supposed to be using this one? Because... It's like... Oh... It was supposed to be... This uh, one, because you could do this. be overdoing it a little bit just a little bit Push him out to the pad. very little color there. now he's making another over here It just occurred to me that this is all the way over on the other side, on the edge of the canvas. So I might have messed the proportions just a little bit. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but kind of is to me. Just a bit. tries to it is a strictly it is supposed to be a painting program i don't have even even though i've used creative for years i've never really used it to paint that much so i'm not completely familiar of what the each of these things does there is a very very in-depth tutorial and class for learning how to use krita so i'm sure they teach you there how to replicate bob ross's style but i'm just winging it that's why i keep messing with each of these things to see what they do try to memorize what does what well thank you I appreciate that Lenart like a lot <laughs> um, I personally do not agree but I guess I certainly have done worse art personally but
So yeah, um, this program is supposed to try and replicate art, or oil painting. Keyword try, but... I don't know. Did a fair job, I thought. I think. I lived in Alaska for so many years, and I love these scenes with mountains and evergreens. Looks like home to me. Looks like home to him. There we go. And if you're into selling paintings, these type scenes where they sell like hotcakes, everybody likes them. Let's come right over here. Maybe there's a tree. Where's right here? I don't know. Oh, shit. Okay. No, I am definitely control Zing that one. Sorry, Bob Ross. There's some stuff that I just cannot allow. To occur and that was one of them. Shelf. See what that easy we can make a little peninsula that comes right out. See how that pushes everything back? Drop some of it underneath. Take our big brush, grab that, give it a little downward. Alright, so now we're going to Still killing me for some reason. Did I sleep the wrong way or what? Nice little tree over there. I think I was supposed to move this over here actually, and it kind of messed up a little bit. That's because these trees over here are kind of blending into the underside of the mountain, my side of the mountain. Let's go ahead and grab this tool here to kind of blend it down a little bit. Since this is not oil painting, I can't really pull the paint like one would have in well, like Bob Ross did. So I really am just winging it in some cases. Unfortunately. My powers are limited. As it were. But if you're careful, and it's something I have to keep telling myself when it comes to performance, right? Not everyone knows what's a mistake and what is, what is a mistake and what's not. And what might look like a mistake to you probably looks intentional and beautiful to the viewer. So, you don't need to worry about it too much. Unless you're making like glaring obvious mistakes, like for example, um, when you're doing a uh, figure drawing, glaring and ana glaring ana anatomical mistakes, yeah, a lot of people will notice those, but not everyone will notice mistakes and what is clearly supposed to be an abstract and not a perfect realization visualization of something, right? Everything <laughs> in art, yeah. A lot of things are subjective. to 
get the tool here to try and cut a swath. We have some instant reflections. Ah, oh, that works. <laughs> what do you know? That actually works. I don't know why I'm surprised. I did this earlier over here. To give you the you know, illusion of a reflection. I don't think I used enough green in this. Sneaky, huh? Sneaky. <laughs> I want to make a big evergreen. I want a big one. This one is taller than the mountain. A big evergreen taller than the mountain, huh? That's a really ballsy move. The granddaddy evergreen. The granddaddy of the evergreens. Why didn't I think of this before? This works. This actually could work. I used to have a huge, huge evergreen that lived in my front yard. Boy, he was a son of a gun. Looked like he was a hundred foot tall. And the ptarmigan used to come and every afternoon and they'd sit in that tree. The ptarmigan, a beautiful grouse type bird that lives in Alaska. I'm not too smart, though. They're sort of like, oh, I don't know, they taste sort of like pheasant, and the people eat them there. Um, they're good eating, from what I understand. I'm a, I wasn't much of a hunter. Shoot, I'd, I'd go out there and feed them. They were safe at my house. A little bit of a liquid white would just run that right around like so. Thank God, he didn't even eat pheasants. Let me find, here's a good old brush. Just take a two-inch brush oh, and pull it too right nice. through the color. And pull it in one direction through the color. A lot of paint's loaded into those bristles. A lot of paint, okay? Now then, maybe right in here lives some bushes and all kind of happy little things. Right there. And we can reflect some of that right into the water. Right into the water. That easy. The other side, you want some just happy little bushes and trees. There, see? Just make this look like a little winding. I'm glad that he had us draw a tree over here, actually, because. I felt like that part of the mountain was kind of messed, it was kind of scuffed. So, this really helps for me to implicit, implicitly fix that mistake. More or less. Oops. 
just a little river that just winds right on back in there. Goes out behind the bill. A super place to take a canoe and just sort of float down the river. Ah, take some dark sienna, a little too much there. A little bit of white, mix it up. So it's sort of marbly. Cut me off a little roll of paint. And we go right up there. And with that, I'm just going to put the indication here and there of a few tree trunks. Oh, so he does draw the tree trunks in. Hmm. Okay. That's good to know. This big old tree, he needs a he needs a trunk too. This big old tree needs a trunk as well. Thanks a lot, Hero. I'm glad you think so. Uh, I need to keep remembering to save as well. Saving document. Bob Ross, do be showing us the joy of painting. Give it a little sideways pull. I wonder why it does it sometimes, where it just puts in this really deep splotch of paint that kind of sticks out a little too much. So it kind of gets in the way a little bit there. But as Bob Ross says, there are no Mistakes, they're only happy little accidents. I often find that when I try to correct, when I try to fix a mistake, um, it tends to autocorrect a bit, and uh, it tends to overcorrect a bit and causes issues. I'm gonna grab another fan brush. I have several of them going here, so I don't have to spend all my time. Man, where are you getting all these fan brushes, Bob? We'll take some of that dark Come color on. made the evergreen. Autocorrect in painting. Uh, I said autocorrect. I meant to say overcorrect. 
actually. Overcorrection in painting. Oh man, I don't want to imagine that. That's that would probably be AI powered. He's out of mix it with a little yellow. Well, I guess we already have something like that, don't we? Beautiful green because it has. Blue in it. Or black. Let's go up here. And What's he drawing now? Put some highlight on these trees. Oh, he's highlighting the trees. Mountains are the lights coming from the right. So it also strike the tree stronger on the right than it would on the left. This should be a little bit lighter. There we go. That's nice. Add contrast to your paintings, he says. Alright. I will do my best, Bob. I shall do my best. Hundreds and hundreds of little leaves and twigs. That easy. And you can take just a clean knife. Evergreens always have dead sticks hanging off of them. Watch right. Come right up here. Watch here. You take that. See? And just pop in a few little dead sticks and twigs hanging right off your tree. And all you have to do is just scrape, scrape right through the paint. Just scrape through the paint. And the one inch brush is clean dip it into a little bit of the liquid white and then into some color. We're going to take some sap green, caddy yellow, and then we'll sort of bounce back and forth into, we'll get some yellow ochre in a minute. Let's go right up here. There's a happy little bush. I remember he lives right here, right there. Beautiful little Happy bush. little bush. And he shines in the sun. Mm. Can you know? I think there is a part of this episode that was skipped because for whatever reason it didn't show him doing this section over here. Because it's supposed to curve like around here or so. So we kind of skipped a skip somewhere. But it's very easy to fix. I mean, I can just go here. And we'll go back to discoloration. Be very easy for us to fix.
Now then, let's try to draw that brush he was talking about. It should be a little bit lighter, though. Almost kind of a yellowish green. There we go. I wonder what would happen if I were to... Looks less like a green bush and more like a ball of spirit energy or something, honestly. Probably because I put all these uh, speckles here as well. right here. Let's turn that into reflections just for pulling it down. My god. Big cross. How do you do that? So he just basically just... Yep, he totally just did that too. <laughs> this guy's a magician. Not gonna lie. Can't replicate Bob Ross. Well, we could certainly try. Doesn't hurt to try. Falling asleep yet, chat? <laughs> Grab yourself some brekkie. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I'm going to. No problem, those. Winter. Thank you for stopping by. You have a good night. Oh, you're not falling asleep? I totally called you out on it, didn't I? <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good Sunday.
แพดแพดแพดแพดแพดแพดแพดบ๊ายบายSo you do layer after layer after layer, one bush at a time. Drop it in, and then work forward. Okay, we're going to reflect a little bit of that right into the water here. You know, one of the questions I've, I probably get half a dozen letters a week asking if we do any tracings or any video editing when we're making these shows. And I really, I've mentioned this before, but there's there's absolutely no video magic that happens here. What what happens here, good or bad? absolutely happens in the time that you see it happen. There. Pull straight down, go lightly across. Okay. Now, if I was to do something that you didn't see, I'd feel like I was cheating you. Tell you what. Let me get my fan brush here. Get a little bit of color right on the fan brush. Maybe back here in the distance, indication of a little little grassy area way back in there like so and that pushes that one way back now watch here when we put a bush here that's really going to be the separator now it becomes a separate entity this far away now maybe right here lives yep you're right happy little bush this would be a nice place to live out here. It's so pretty. Looks peaceful. Nobody's angry out here. Oh, this is a nice spot. Sit out here and watch the animals. Talk to trees. Talk to trees. Bob Ross really is my kind of person. Right there. That's the spot. Touch grass? No, what about talking to grass? Once again, though, put these in in layers. Layer after layer, I know what let's do. Maybe, maybe there's a stone here. So you need a little place to sit. So let's, let's just put us in just a little stone. We can sit right here, be comfortable. A little white, a little brown. We can go right in here and drop the indication of a little highlight on top of that stone. Take care of this stone, tree it right. It'll grow up to be a big mountain like back there. <laughs> we know that's not true, but it sounds good. It sounds good. Probably just the opposite. I
used to be a big mountain. It's just got more down to that. There. And we can bring some of our little bushes right around. If you have trouble making these stick, add a little tiny amount of liquid white to your brush. There's one. And even here where they're crowded, do one at a time so you have individuals in there. Give each one of them a name if necessary. And I'm just going to take the knife, scratch through the paint to create the illusion of sticks, twigs, all kinds of little things that are happening. That helps show all different planes. Normally I do it in the dark areas, not in the light. Because light areas indicate leaves and stuff that are on this side. The dark areas show, you know, where you're looking down between the sticks are between the bushes and you can see down into it the shadow areas and you can see those little sticks. So mainly in the dark areas. A little Van Dyke Brown. Let's put some land right out here. And there's all kinds of happy things out here. Watch, watch, there it goes. Just drop it in. There. A little bit of our highlight color. Dark sienna, a little white. Looks like I hit a little blue there too. And that's just right. Graze it down a little bit. Makes it even better. Little touch, little touch of liquid white. I'm just gonna pull that out flat and pull it out like so. And draw my knife across it. Once again, using a very firm pressure. Very firm. Bend the knife. That knife's strong. You're not going to hurt it. That's another question I hear quite often is this, if my knife looks like it's a different color than the ones that people buy. There's not, there's not any difference at all. The only thing is they make me spray this one black so it doesn't shine. But it's the same knife that you have. Same identical knife. A few little ripples on the water here and there. Twigs, liner brush. We'll dip it in at least a little bit of paint thinner, make some paint that's very thin. And maybe that right here. Here lives an old, old stick. Here lives right out here. Like so. Go back into the paint thinner, into some bright red. I think we'll sign this one. This is a painting that will teach you how to use all the equipment. It's always one of the more popular things that we do, these mountains and evergreens. Everybody likes these. So on behalf of the entire staff, happy painting and God bless. And God bless, he says. What are these do I use for this? Oh my god. Let's not use that again. Actually, you know what? We could zoom in. That would make sense, right? Save this really quick. Very scuffed.
Here we go. Still kind of scuffed, but it's a good kind of scuff, I think. File. Let's see what it looks like. Is it still saving? Must be. <laughs> um, we actually reached the end of this, to be honest. Not of the stream, but of this painting. Just followed Bob all the way to the end. I made this thing. I think I made the canvas a little too large, though. We're gonna end up cutting. We're gonna actually cut off this part. off right around there or so. Once I figure out how to do that. Um, hmm. Let's see, select. So I want to cut it off like here. But I'm not entirely sure how to do that. There's actually a few places here that I could improve. Go ahead and Let's, uh, add a little bit more green down here. definition to this tree as well.
Oh, I'm dumb. Need to flatten this layer. Merge with layer below. Thank you.
<laughs> Thank you for the hydrate steel. Much appreciated. Let me get to that in just one second. Wait, what's happening? Why has this been docked? My god. Um... There we go. That scared me for a second there. It like merged into the... There we go. Now let me see, drink some water. It's interesting seeing all the interpretations of peaceful reflection here on the internet. Look at all these other people. I'm trying to find a picture of the original though. Looks like these are all just the ones that people made instead. Oh man, this one's cool. They put a lot of emphasis into the uh, fire in the background. Is that angry video game nerd? What I could do is just stitch to it to stitch it uh, stitch it together. So all the ones I find online are just ones that other people have done. This is not the same one, is it? No way. It doesn't look the same. How do you use the clipping tool in Windows 10? Use the snipping tool to capture screenshots, which is... Oh. That's easy.
Actually, better idea. There we go. Now we just need to... Into some bright red. I think we'll sign this one. This is a painting that will teach you how to use all the equipment. And it's always one of the more popular things that we do, these mountains and evergreens. Be painting. God bless. Actually, ah, shit. One second. One second. Painting and God bless. Okay. Now we can do it. Nailed to. Okay. I'm gonna bring up paint really quick. Where is paint? Light shot, huh? See your hero. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Uh, Lenarth, I actually use Greenshot <laughs> All right, for work. I just haven't gone around to reinstalling it on my system. Lightshot sounds pretty good, too. For right now, I'm going to stitch these together using paint. Let's see now. Where did I put that? yet to open to enlargen the canvas I guess not oh of course I have a big monitor now I can just do this okay so going to open another instance of paint here just have to slowly combine the two actually one second That's not what I want to do. Um, <sighs> going to do this. There we go. Let me do this now. I'm gonna copy and paste. There we go. Why is there like dirt and shit on it? Oh. Because it's trans I made it transparent, I'm dumb. <laughs> that was not a smart idea. Okay. Uh that doesn't work. What about
Here we go. Now let's do it. Ha. Here we go. I wonder why it's not lining up perfectly. It should, but there's like a slight change in the color there. I'm trying to do basically. Is reconstruct this image and begin <laughs> and large in. and large in. How's that sound? There, nailed it right. <laughs> I don't know why the image suddenly changed, the uh, coloration suddenly changed them. It should be the same image entirely. But for some reason, when I took a clip of this, it changed slightly. There's slight yellow tinge there to the bottom one. It's very bizarre. Oh! I know why. This is a recording of an old a piece of film strip and at the top of the film strip it was a little bit of yellowed that's why there appears to be a color distortion that's interesting still really good job I would say of uh, stitching them together Go post these on Twitter really quick. I need to blow my nose. It's running like crazy right now. All right. Have a good one, Lenarth. Thanks for coming to the stream. I'll be right back, chat.
need it for a now? Yep. Really nice, isn't it? Uh, how did you... I just followed along with what he yeah, was doing. How you use that thing? Mm -hmm. How do you... I'm glad you
I'm back. Did you also miss me? <clears throat> Looks like we got about... Oh, we're actually nearing the end of the stream. My bad. Hope y'all didn't wait too long. That's all I wanted to do today. We might make this a regular thing, actually. It was really relaxing to paint alongside Bob Ross. I actually don't know what to do for the last few minutes. I guess we should just do just chatting. But man, was that fun. That was fun, I think. Did y'all enjoy? Did y'all enjoy uh, watching me stream? Or watching me do art? I sure as hell did. That was really fun. Hmm. I'm glad y'all did so. Just gonna relax for the last few minutes. To be honest. Laying back in my chair. If the weather's nice, I should probably go to the park or something. Did the music just stop? Oh, I'm dumb. I should turn on lo-fi hip-hop. Back on. There we go. We do have a collab tonight. Going to be hanging out with Professor Tetsuo and his circle for and that circle of YouTubers, those cool people I haven't hung out with in a long time since our first street our first collab together. <laughs> Excuse me. First uh, collab together many, many months ago when we played Halo together. I'm gonna be playing some Gardic Phone. I guess I'll have to break out... I guess that's part of the reason I was inspired to break out the tablet today, because we're gonna be using the Gardic Phone, as you may or may not know. Uh, utilizes a tablet. Or utilizes drawing. So, if I just get some use out of my tablet out, I love getting, I kind of feel bad for not using this more often when I was younger. So this is a great excuse to do so. That'll be in around seven hours or so from now. Of course, I'll let everyone know on Discord and Twitter when we're going live for that. But it should be a fun time. Aside from that, you saw, so for those of you who are here, Cow did visit us earlier. He is one of the people that I do uh, MS3, M Mystery Science Theater 3000s with, along with Hunter. We're going to do that next Saturday evening. Should be a fun time. 
we will be watching Plan 9 from Outer Space. <laughs> We're also going to continue for the King with Luke Sao and with Karma. Uh, maybe in a couple of weeks from now. Depends. Probably early April. Somewhere thereabouts. I was originally going to work on some Unity projects this weekend. Maybe I will still find time to do so. But uh, I felt like doing something a little bit more relaxed today, you know? Especially since I just woke up like a few minutes prior. I wonder if we should raid anyone today. Of course, the answer is always yes. But if we do, who will be our victim? If y'all have any ideas for who we should raid, uh, feel free to drop them down in chat. Actually, why don't we go visit, say, Rudu? Since he's doing art commissions right now. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Well, actually, it says here that he's still doing art, but... He's playing Genshin Impact. That's not Genshin Impact. What is this game? Risk Arena 2? Hmm. Alright. Let's prepare for the big drop. Seirunu has disabled raids, so we cannot visit Seirunu today. Instead, let's visit... Maximilian Arkhambolt. He play is playing Elden Ring right now. Pretty cool guy. I think he's a butler VTuber or something? Or, actually, we could raid someone completely new. Gonna browse this based off of... Filters from low to high again. Sort and filter by... YouTuber. Also, English speaking, preferably. Let's see who is up here. This person is playing Beat Saber. Oh, my God. Nice. This person's drawing arts. LGBT. Very cute looking art, actually. It looks like they're drawing themselves. Let's go visit them. Great. Tamaris Morgan. Prepare for the big drop, everyone.
get ready.